everyone, I am Dr. Gator Bedovitas. In this video, I'm going to sample a lot of sunscreens to help you choose the best one for your skin type. There are a lot of excellent, excellent information from my fellow content creators out there going into the detail about you know, how sunscreens work, what's an SPF, how to properly apply them, etc. I even made two videos last year about sunscreens. Please make sure to check them all out. But this one will be all about the different types of sunscreen formulations and how to choose one that will work for you and complement your skin type. I thought about making this video because when I asked about skincare regrets, a lot of you mentioned not putting on sunscreen when you were younger. And I'd have to say I'm one of you because I only started regularly and consistently putting on sunscreen when I became a dermatology resident and I was already in my mid-twenties. Often the reason for not using sunscreens is because they can be sticky, greasy, or they're too white, and sometimes they smell funny. This is why finding the one that is best suited to your face and needs is so important that you wouldn't mind applying and reapplying them every day. But before we go there, let's start with a few basic things when choosing sunscreens. Rule number one is simple. I'm sure all of you know this already. Always opt for a sunscreen that is broad spectrum, water resistant with an SPF of at least 30 or PA++. Second, get one that goes well with your skin type, be it dry, oily, combination, normal, sensitive, or acne prone. Third, Make sure it matches your skin tone and doesn't make you too light or too dark. And fourth, choose one that suits your lifestyle and your needs. Are you mostly indoors or outdoors? Do you swim or do you sweat a lot? And then of course, make sure you know where and how much to put on and how to do it correctly. different types of sunscreens available in the market and yes they're all mine I am going to try each and every one of them for you starting with those that are good for dry skin your main concern is keeping your skin hydrated so cream based sunscreens with or without moisturizers like your hyaluronic acid your glycerin will work best and this type can easily blend with and be layered on top of your moisturizers individuals with oily skin, sunscreens that are water-based or gel-based, or those that contain ingredients that are mattifying like your dimethicone are preferred. Some formulations even include ingredients like your green tea or niacinamide, which can help control oil production too. Normal and combination skin are the easiest skin types when it comes to choosing sunscreens because everything will work for you, even the ones for dry and oily skin. It's just a matter of taste and preferences. The addition of tint to the sunscreens, usually metal or zinc oxides, not only helps with aesthetics but also gives added protection for a broader spectrum of light. For example, your high energy visible light, like the very famous blue light. I 
also recommend that when you're trying out tinted sunscreens or even tinted moisturizer, anything with tint, when you're buying them in the stores, make sure that you try them on your face where there's proper lighting. Promise guys, trust me, it's different when you apply it on your hand and when you apply it on your face. And I've made that mistake so many times before in the past. Ang ganda-ganda sa kamay ko, pero nung ginamit ko na siya sa face ko, maling shade pala. Now, you might be asking, what about those with sensitive skin or those with acne-prone skin? For my patients with sensitive or reactive skin or even for kids, I recommend physical sunscreens as their first option because they are less likely to cause allergies or allergic reactions. And then opt for those with not too many ingredients or additives, coloring, fragrance, and alcohols. I also know of some with soothing or anti-inflammatory ingredients that can help with redness and irritation. For acne-prone skin, similar to those with sensitive skin, starting with physical sunscreens with less ingredients is suggested, but go for a lightweight water or gel-based ones. Apart from everything I showed you, there are many, many other ingredients and formulations that exist out there. Wala lang ako. You have your anti-pollution and reef-safe sunscreens, your cushion sunscreens, your um, sunscreen sticks for the lips and the eyes. Naubusan lang ako. Also, the roller ones, the powder that comes in brush applicators, mousse sunscreens, mist sunscreens, and the so-called hair veils with SPF. I actually have that, but... It's right there. We are fortunate or unfortunate kasi nga to be presented with so many options. And really, there's a lot of great sunscreen products out there. It's just a matter of trial and error and finding one that you really like and that suits your skin. It doesn't hurt too that you have many kinds of sunscreens like me because things change. You know, the weather, the skin type, you know, the environment, your needs, etc. So there guys, I hope that you find this entertaining. Nahirapan ako doon ang dami kong pinahid sa mukha ko. But really, the best sunscreen is one that you will use. One that you will apply and you are willing to reapply as needed. So this ends my video. I hope it was entertaining if not informative. Make sunscreens a part of your skincare routine and you won't regret it. Thanks again for watching. See you soon.